Well, hello again, friends. I am back with another cool little retro document format. It's the tech info format, or the info format, which uh, I thought was pretty interesting. So check this out. So we've all heard of man pages, right? Man, man, you know? Use man page for man. Man. We've all heard of man pages. We all love man pages. But have you heard of info pages? Info pages. So you can go info man. Okay, this is the info page. So what is what is an info page? Well, it looks like an ordinary man page, but it's got a lot more detail and it's got these things called nodes, which let you go from page to page. So info pages can get really in depth, and a good example of that is the info page for info itself. So if we go info info, we can see that um, here is the info about the info page. So info pages can have links, just like you know, hypertext or whatever. You just underline one of them and you go in them. You can hit next for the next node in the sequence of info pages, pre for the previous node, up to go up a level, and you can go keep going up. And if you go up to the root info page, actually all your commands uh, are here, and all their info pages are here. For the locate info page, here's the locate info page, and it kind of looks like the man page for info, but you can go next. You can go uh, previous. There's you go up the tree. So here we go. Here's a full reference. Enter, and all this is probably pre-installed on your system if you're running. Uh, I mean, for sure, if you're running Linux. I'm not sure. Mid Mac has it too. Probably, probably. And another cool thing about info pages is they can be exported. The same info page source can be exported to HTML, to info, which is the format that we're seeing right there, and to uh, PDF through LaTeX. All right, and here's the info page, for example, of the nano text editor. Um, and this is the info page that has been exported to HTML. As you can see, the beautiful old school, you know, uh, HTML that, uh, that was pretty traditional back in those days. I'm sure you could spruce it up with your own style sheet if you so wanted to, but yeah, so you basically have kind of the same layout and the cross references. So you can have, you know, clicks that refer to other points in the info pages. So you can also generate nice um, old school cool manuals like these, which I think is the main selling point of the, in, uh, the tech info format is getting out an, an, a good old-fashioned PDF manual that you know somebody could like feasibly print I guess you know and read it just highlight it and do stuff like that so a uh, quick final thing if you go into Emacs and you write control H I you go to the Emacs info uh, pages so you can see all the info pages and you can just browse them right here from within Emacs, same NNP to move around, your classic Emacs keys, and um, you can search normally, you can search within the info uh, references. So when you search within the info references, it searches the entire info doc uh, instead of searching the local buffer. And you know, you can you know copy stuff like this, paste it to another buffer, split the window. So you get all the Emacs goodness. That's the, most people browse info info pages as, as far as I understand using Emacs which is super cool which when you install uh, tech info it will install many programs for you make info which is like the compiler that takes a dot tech info file and turns it into an info file and you also have various other um, utilities like tech to PDF and also make info can export to HTML. So we'll see that right now. So the format info pages are written in is this format called tech info. Basically, all tech info files are um, are a new markup language that's kind of similar to Groff or Trough if you've ever used those, where a lot of the commands just lie on one line. 
All right, since there is going to be exporting to LaTeX, what you have to write at the beginning of every tech info file is input tech info. So tech info, when you install it, will install a tech file that has all the macros for tech info files. So if you don't understand what that means, don't worry about it. This is just something you have to do if you ever want to export it to a PDF like as a manual. Then we're going to set the title. The title, so let's say awesome manual 1.0 so basically all the commands start with an at sign and the name of the command and then what follows on that line is the argument or you can wrap it in curly braces like you'll see in a little bit so we can also so let's just go that so you know it's a GNU project so copywriting is a big deal for them so they have an at copying command this is a copyright information that we put at the beginning of the manual so you can use the at copyright command to insert the copyright symbol so and then and copy so what we've done here is effectively created an environment so you write at the name of the environment and then you have to end it um, so you'll see this pattern a lot in tech info files all right so here's the main one so we got to create a title page so now we can write at title page to create the title page and then at title argument so another quick command is the comment so you can write comments with the at c command so these will not get interpreted by tech info but if you want to write it for yourself feel free so afterwards, you'll see this a lot in the uh, tutorials and documentation about tech info. This adding this uh, vertical uh, space in between the title and the rest of it. This is just to give the title its own page. So this is actually the same as the uh, LaTeX command if you're familiar with that. If not, this just uh, creates a new uh, page. Finally, you can write insert copying to insert the copyright information and then we can end title page finally you have to end every tech info file with a by so to get a tech info file to show you have to have nodes and nodes are basically kind of like the same idea in any sort of uh, you know computer science that you've ever done is they're all connected to one root node called top and then that root node can link to other sub nodes and and have any number of children and all of those children can have any of number of children themselves so if you're here and you click the next button you'll go here if you're here and you click the next button you'll go here and if you're anywhere and you keep repeatedly pressing the U button to go up in the layers you'll eventually end up at the single root top layer or node so that's basically the whole system that's what makes it kind of streamlined is you can rapidly like boom 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 hit next and go around so let's add the top node which is the only required node so we can write at node to define a new node make sure it's called top then we go at top hello there and then we can write the actual contents of the top node, which is, you know, so there we go. So there we have our top node. But if we also want to export this to a manual later, we have to wrap it in an if not tech block. If not tech block, like so. And the reason for that is uh, when you export as a tech file, that is as, as a PDF, you don't want the top node to be there because the top node is, is more so for um, keeping the structure of the document rather than uh, in, a, in a manual, right? In a manual, you don't have a topmost node. Like the book itself is the topmost node, if you know what I'm saying, right? So uh, you don't need a topmost node. Versus if you're browsing an HTML or an info, it'd be nice to have a topmost node that can see everything, right? So that's basically the, um, the topmost node. All right, so that's enough playing around. Let's see if this thing can actually compile. So the way you compile info files 
is you write make info and then the name of your file. So here I have make info and I called it cop.techie. So then it should have created, right, so it should have created a, a dot info file. And so we can write info dot and then uh, to that file and here we go. You know, hello there, hey there, you're watching a tutorial. Next and previous pointers don't work, obviously. If you go up, you go to the root, which is uh, where I was when I hit control H I on Emacs. Um, we can also export this to HTML by make info that dash HTML. So now it should have made a folder. So we go in to that folder and there's an index HTML and we can open it and here it is awesome manual one hello there you're watching a tutorial beautiful stuff and finally we can write techie to pdf kop dot techie and the pdf file should be open so let's uh, and here we go here it is a uh, very beautiful uh, manual cover the copyright information so that's pretty much it and since it was um, put in apologies for the infinite void here it was put in to the if not tech block so the first content of the top node didn't print but that was the goal right so mm -hmm.